So, the Charizard raid, eh boys? 7 stars, super difficult raid. Now, I don't know if you guys are as disappointed as I am, but I was really hoping for a challenge this time around. I feel like this Charizard is easier than most 5 stars in the game right now. So I'm gonna keep this brief and simple. There's only one Pokemon you should be using against this boss if you want to solo it. That's right. Azum- Exactly. What the fuck? I, I mean Azum- Just die! Just die! Wait, 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 wait. I mean Az- It got my <laughs> Dude, what the fuck is wrong with this Pokemon? That was a rhetorical question, I know exactly what's wrong with this Pokemon. Have you noticed your raid bosses have been healing whenever you use Azumarill? They're not healing. Huge power is quite literally broken, and not in the good way. For some reason, as of right now, it just does not interact right with the raid bosses. It may show that you're doing a certain amount of damage, but in reality, huge power isn't even working, so you're only doing about half of that. If you don't believe me, I can prove this multiple times. Watch this shit. Alright, so I think his HP is gonna go back to right, right about here. On my mouse. Yup, oh my god, dude. Literally, literally perfect. Alright, alright. Well, my theory holds true. His HP is gonna be right on my mouse. I think. Hold? Wait. Was I right? Oh my god, dude. So, in conclusion, Azumarill, not the play. For any raid. Until they fix it, at least. So that will probably leave you asking me, so what the hell do I use for this 7 star if I want a solo? So let me ask you a question in return. Who wins a fight? One big meaty dragon type fire dragon dude or one small ghost boy from 8 billion years ago. Yeah, Fluttermane is currently like 15-0 in these raids. This thing's special stats and speed are disgusting, so naturally it would be a perfect fit for a special attacker like Charizard. With that being said, no bullshit. Let's get into it. Okay, first things first, let me give you the rundown on the Charizard. So, the Charizard, level 100, perfect IVs, blah blah blah, that's not what you guys care about. His moveset, as far as I know, is Hurricane, Inferno, Sunny Day, Fire Blast, Overheat, Focus Blast, and Terra Blast. Now, like I said before, Charizard is a special attacker, so all of these are going to be special type moves. As they are heavy hitters though, they all have horrible acts, so the chances you're not going to get hit by like majority of these moves is pretty big. Now, when the raid first starts, Charizard will always start with an Overheat, but it will not always aim for you. If if it doesn't aim for you, then you can chalk that up to your good luck. And right after this, since Overheat lowers the special attack of the user by two stages, the Charizard cleanses itself to reset it back to zero. Now this is a bit of a double-edged sword. Now as it does cleanse in the first turn, I can tell you right now it will not cleanse for the rest of the raid. Having said that, Fluttermane's moveset is so easy. Okay, now looking at this moveset, let's go over the turn order. So the first thing I do is try to get Calm Mind off no more than twice. The reason for this being that, like Clawtire, Charizard nullifies boosts very early. So the Calm Minds aren't really for the special attack boost, they're more for eating damage while I'm giving this thing some fake tears. So after the two Calm Minds, I'll go for a Draining Kiss to get all of my HP back, and then try and get 2-3 to three fake tears off, and at that point, it's just free. You can't get confused or burned because of the Covert Cloak, and you can't take a lot of damage just because Flutter Mate is naturally bulky against anything special. So as simple as it is, all you have to do is either Moonblast or Draining Kiss depending on how low you are. I will say when Sunny Day does go up, which is usually towards the end of the battle, I would just start hard using Draining Kiss, and this is because Charizard does have Solar Power which boosts his special attack in the sun, so he's gonna hurt a little bit. But if you follow everything I just said, you will pretty much win 100% of the time. It's very hard to lose with Fluttermane against Charizard. And I'm gonna say this again, I'm very disappointed. I really wanted a challenge, like if he had Iron Tail or Metal Claw, this battle would have been a little bit harder and it would have required more strategy, which would have been more fun for me, but hey, fuck it. A free raid's a free raid. I hope you guys get crazy rewards from this. All right, enough talking. Let's watch some goddamn gameplay. The body, it is it. For the low slash so medics for other stuff. I mean dude like I I'm broke though. Like I would be down but like I'm I'm broke man. Alright. It might help not gonna lie, we'll see, we'll see.
I definitely get away with one more combo on here, right? Like, 100% I get away with one more combo on here. Anything he hits me with here, doesn't matter, you missed. He's pissed. Alright, now we draining kiss. Get our HP back. Yo, Copeness with the tier 1, my brother. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate that, bro. Helps out crazy. Love you, my bro. Nah, Cobra Cloak is so nice for this. Jesus. I have two fairy types on my team, and they're like. Kinda, kinda, kinda. Kinda peeking on him. No, he's gonna. He shielded up already? Oh no, he did it. Let's get as much down as I can before he shields up. Alright, nice. King's Rock Population Bomb? Nah, that is just so cringe. That's actually just like infinitely cringe. GG. GG. Finally went for me, the bastard. I think I can get away with the uh, with the fake tears here. I'm not gonna count. I can definitely get away with the fake tears here. Oh, can't confuse me anymore, bitch! I get crit, dude. What the fuck is this game, my dude? Boosted RNG hacks, bro. Well, it's all good. I could probably still get two more down. Up. Yeah, he actually just doesn't cleanse for the rest of the fight, though. That's the funny part. So he's just gonna be perma minus six. And at this point, like, Fluttermane just solos, and he missed two hurricanes, this guy's pissed. Wait, oh wait, wait, he's frozen. Wait, this is the plus three. This is the plus three Oko, maybe? The plus three Oko? I could be in a greedy bastard and, put, and go for plus four. But once he puts his shield up, he, it seems like he always nullifies. Oh my god, wait, I can greed, I can greed, bro. Please don't nullify. Don't nullify, do not nullify. Yes! All day I greed here. Oh, Fluttermane's about to go fucking wacky. Please don't nullify. I want to see this so bad, bro. I want to see this so bad, bro. Please don't nullify. Oh my god, it's definitely a plus- oh, Bro, it's a plus four angle. Please. Please, bro, please. Okay, did we go for it? I think we just go for it here. I don't want to greet anymore. I I'm scared he's going to nullify. Oh, 
Okay, Jack. Boy Flutterman is different, holy! Oh, nah, 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 Flutterman is just like too free for this raid. Oh my god. He's just perma minus 6, dude. It's just like, it's, it's so abusable. It's so abusable. Uh -uh. Hold on, chat. Is it still minus six? It's just perma minus six. It only cleanses once. Why? I don't know. I don't know. Chat, let's hope I was right. Let's hope it has sunny day solar beam and it's actually hard and not the easiest thing of all time because if it is, I'm gonna be sad as hell. The moveset I'm hoping for is sunny day, Solar Beam, Metal Claw, or Iron Tail, and a Fire Move.